Hi guys, Leslie here, and this is hopefully going to be a short video. I just want to uh, show you how I cut myself out of um, out of the picture like I did right here in this uh, image in our VIP group. And I thought maybe that might be useful to someone because images like that, um, they'll pop on like YouTube. <clears throat> they're also uh, pretty cool. Um, they're just fun to play with if you want to cut yourself out. So. What I did first is I went to my camera on my computer. I just typed in camera because I have one. Let's see, here it is. It's that really awesome one I've been telling you about. It makes everybody look good. And then I just went like this and put my thingy over the button and I just went literally. And it, look at, it took the picture for me. Um, whoop, see? And then I'm going to close my camera now. I went into what's called Bonanza Burner, or BurnerBonanza.com, Burner.Bonanza.com. I'll put the link down below. Um, so I chose my photo, dun, 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 went to my camera roll, see there was the other one, and literally um, just choose that picture, and it will burn. Um, it will burn out the background and you're going to have to fix it up and I'll just show you how I do that. Uh, lighting is kind of like everything if you can get good lighting. Um, my lighting's pretty good in my office. It's not super fantastic. Um, but just depending on your lighting and the background, um, it'll help you um, a lot. So I'm going to go with this one. It'll give you like a couple of choices. So I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to choose touch up. Okay. And you never know when this is going to be useful, guys. Um, let me, while we're waiting for that, I just want to show you something. Um, let's go here for a second. I was able to, using this same thing really quick, see this? Um, it's like a banner ad using the sales hack that you all have. Um, if you haven't watched the sales hack course, um, this is what I'm talking about. Just a little banner ad. Anyways, I just cut myself out, look at and cut my bracelets out. So that's what I'm just, it's a totally useful tool. Tool. So this is what it brings me to when I hit touch up. And then I go to the pixel tools. And um, I, I'm going to finish like maybe cutting out this. Let's we'll get my shoulder in there. And you just kind of need to just cut out the parts that you don't. Want. And it's pretty easy because it cuts out most of it for you if your lighting's good. Um, and then if you've got to add stuff back, I'll show you that too. Um, you just press the green button. And that makes that pretty uh, simple. And so I just do a little touch up there. And I can fix whatever I mess up. So, And then I'll just go to the green tool and look at it reverses it. So if I want to get the rest of my hair in there or whatever, um, I can do that see and you and you can zoom in like you could get really nitty-gritty guys if you wanted to um, but I'm just doing this so I can show you guys how to use this tool and because I love it I don't know why I just do it makes all your images pop makes them feel better and you can change the size of your little doodad there you know so if you need it to be smaller for whatever reason it will shrink see and you can cut all that out and, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be super perfect because it's not going to be this super close up um, when you use it. And if you drop it on a background that's already colored, you just, you don't see the imperfections um, the way that I do here. Do -do. All right. And so fancy pantsy, right? Okay. That looks good enough for me. Um, I can back back out and I think I got most of it. I mean, I guess I could get my armpit here. Do -do -do. Nay, nay on the armpit. Nice. I think I even have a little armpit right here. I could probably wedge out. Do do. Not bad, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna just hit finish. Now I might ask you to log in. Don't think it lost your stuff if it doesn't log you in right away. Um, like say it takes you to another screen. You can always hit back button to get to this. And you're going to know why I said that if you get to this screen and you haven't logged in first. So log in first. Um, or It's really it's free to log in and to have an account. And then download it as a PNG. Um, 
if you're not logged in and you're trying to download it, it's going to want you to log in first. And it kind of takes you through this loopy loop of circles, um, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But did it download? I don't even know if it did. I didn't see it go. Boop. There it goes. Nice. Okay. And so what's cool is you can take that to PicMonkey or Canva. I'm going to go ahead and use Canva because that one's free. Um, but I really like PicMonkey better. Um, and the reason I like PicMonkey better, here, let me just show you why I like PicMonkey better. And I'm not trying to sell you PicMonkey or anything like that. Um, but PicMonkey is pretty cool. Um, and custom size. And I only pay $33 a year because I'm like grandfathered into this amazing price. Uh, that's Facebook size or it used to be. I don't know. Um, and I'm just going to show you really quick why I like it. Okay, so stickers. I'm going to go to stickers. I'm going to add my own. I'm going to go find myself. Oh, find myself. Documents. No, no, Leslie, it's in downloads. And then, look, I have so many. I have so much stuff, guys. I'm not organized. Is that the one? No, here it is. Boom. Oh, it downloaded twice. Well, I was impatient. Look at Okay, so there I am. Whoop. And that's pretty cool. And then, um, let's see here. Um, 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 I'm sorry. Background. There we go. I can actually choose a background color first. That's under Canvas. Let me go up here first. So let's go to the Canvas and say I want it to match my website. Um, I got that really cool eyedropper tool where I got all my colors saved, right? So say here my colors are pink, okay? And because most of the people in my stuff um, are women. Um, and so let me see. Ah, this one. Check this out. Look, it will do fancy stuff, guys. I really like this one. I love the sparkles, okay? Um, and I just, I like how um, that looks, and you can just do different stuff, you know? Be, uh, for that one image in the group, all it is is a black bar and a black bar there. Um, nothing super fancy. Just had a black bar up here. Whoopsie, wrong one. Apologize. Um, and I actually did the other one in Canva because I, I didn't need the sparkles for you guys. Um, but although I do, I do like sparkles. And so, and then I'm going to do a little control. Uh, wait, wait. Lori told me to do this. Duplicate. Thank you, Lori. See, I was listening. There we go. And then you can just write stuff across the top with your lettering, go to text. And all this works in Canva, same thing. You're just not going to get the sparkles, guys. Um, but I think you'll live, and that's okay. But what I like about PicMonkey is they do get, I mean, I can make it burst. Look at it. Um, I mean, I can do some pretty trick stuff um, with those backgrounds, and I just I love them. Um, and so, but again, no big deal if you... And so you might not even like it. Um, and then I can just put stuff here, you know, like I think I put like, you know, Robin dropped the price or something. I used a really thick writing. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, that would have to be white if you want to actually see it. But um, so I just kind of did that there and what have you. Okay, and you can do the same thing in Canva. I want to show you. Look, I see I did this. This is my journal uh, video cover for YouTube. And then this is the actual picture that I used and created for you guys <clears throat> in Canva. See, this is just a sticker and some text over it. This is just the same thing. It's a sticker. Um, they call them elements here. And it was a shape. You know, just different words, but same tools. Um, now... Where PicMonkey has these fancy, um, pretty pretties, um, Canva has these pretty pretties. So Canva still got some cool stuff, guys. And so look, I could change. I could have watermelons in the background. Watermelons. So um, I mean, there's like so many things you can like do. You know what I mean? When you have these. Um, these um, cut out images of like either yourself or just whatever. Just take a picture of yourself with your camera like I showed you and cut it out and, um, you know, play with it and do stuff with it. And um, you might feel like a goober because I certainly do. But that actually, it draws attention um, with the different backgrounds and the overlay, okay? And so that was using 
Burner Bonanza, and it's totally free, and I'll drop the link for that. Um, and you can use Canva or PicMonkey, whichever you have. And I hope that was helpful to someone.